Good afternoon and good evening, folks. We are coming live today because of an X-Class solar flare that occurred. Let me go ahead and turn on my screen share. Click, click, click away. All right, so this is that M4.5 solar flare we saw a couple of days ago, and we just had this X1 today. Uh, looking at the last six hours, you can see the rise here. Uh, we broke into M range uh, right in the middle of the 1700 hour, and we didn't come out of it until right in the middle of the, uh, the 2000 hour. So we're looking at one, two, three hours above M1 range. Uh, that's a long duration flare, and it peaked out, let's see, down here at X1.6. So coming over to the integrated space weather application from NASA I've got the SDO AIA 131 on the left and the SDO AIA 193 on the right uh, they're staggered a little bit so that you don't have to uh, try to watch them flare both at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the 193 here actually so we can see some of the breadth of the CME some of the ejecta I don't know if you could see that but that went out in pretty much all directions up down left right the corona is pretty well rippled. This is a pretty direct uh, Earth-facing uh, Earth solar flare. <laughs> I'm sure this isn't going to surprise any of you, but uh, coming to look at SOHO and take a look at the timestamp here, uh, 15, 16, and we jump all the way to 21. Uh, this is once again SOHO cutting out during a large solar flare. Um, hopefully they'll put the images back by tomorrow. Anyway, another thing that's happening, sorry, uh, the protons, the high energy protons are coming back up. I don't know how much this will ramp in the next few hours, but this dotted line is storm level. This would be a level one radiation storm at the poles, level two, level three, etc. Something to watch going forward. Uh, just some quick notes uh, about this event and what to expect. First of all, don't forget that at some point, either late tomorrow or early on the 12th, we should expect CME impact from the M4.5 from a couple of days ago, and we will definitely see some auroras, and we may even see a geomagnetic storm. This is far more Earth-directed. There is virtually no chance that this CME will miss Earth. Uh, geomagnetic storms are highly likely. Now, two points, kind of a point and a counterpoint before we uh, cut this off for the day, and uh, we'll you know, seek to regroup in the morning. This is one of the most uh, central disk X flares uh, of this cycle. Uh, most of the larger flares that we've seen thus far this solar max have been on the limb. Uh, this is pretty well Earth directed, um, and so we can definitely say that a geomagnetic storm is expected. Uh, however, um, in terms of something to be worried about, uh, Normally you wouldn't say there's anything to be worried about here. Uh, an X-class solar flare is the highest flare uh, that we can, the, the class of flare that we can have. But we've taken X2s, X3s, uh, even an X6 point, uh, even an X6 uh, earlier in the cycle. Uh, during the solar minimum we saw a two solar flares in excess of X10. And we saw quite a few of those during the last solar max as well. So. Is this one of the biggest flares that we've taken and that our magnetosphere has handled? No, not even close. Uh, however, counterpoint, we have been watching a weakening of the magnetic shield. Uh, don't forget this has caused us to see uh, some geomagnetic effects that we wouldn't expect to see based on the space weather that has caused them. However, um, you know, this is just a really good opportunity now for us to see how well our magnetosphere can handle a significant, purely Earth-directed eruption. Uh, hopefully it's still strong enough that we don't have anything to worry about. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say, especially because this will be on the heels of, you know, a potential geomagnetic storm already, we could see one of the largest geomagnetic storms of this cycle so far. Uh, we could reach G3, G4. We have yet to see a G5 this cycle. Uh, which should be the Cape index ramping all the way up. We may actually get that here, having a two CMX due around the you know around a relatively short time frame. Uh, by tomorrow, hopefully, the annual spirals will be updated. Hopefully, we'll have a good idea about when NOAA and NASA expect this CME to arrive. And given our weaker magnetosphere, 
definitely something to watch for. How does our system handle this? I will catch you guys in the morning. Be safe, everyone.